Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is Monday, December 14th. And guess what? I'm not here. So since I am not here, that doesn't mean that, oh my goodness, class is over. There's still stuff that we're going to do, stuff that we're going to practice so that we can continue to practice this idea that each paragraph, each section of a text has one overall thing that it's trying to say. So for today, it is going to be up to you to look at eight different paragraphs to figure out what the main idea is for each of those. But with that, remember, we are going, we are pushing forward from just looking at the main idea of a paragraph to eventually figuring out what the main idea of a whole section is. And with that, there are supporting main ideas, just like there are supporting details. The first four paragraphs are going to be about one topic. The next four paragraphs are about another topic. So think of it, paragraphs one, two, three, and four are gonna be about one topic. Paragraphs five, six, seven, and eight are gonna be about another topic. So really that's what we're doing is we're kind of getting a glimpse, practice into how do we figure out the main idea of a whole section. We do that by first looking at the different pieces, the different paragraphs, the smaller portions. So that's what we're going to do. But how do we do it? Well, here are our directions. You're going to read each text, or in this case, read each paragraph. While you're reading, think to yourself, what is the main idea? What is the thing that the author is really trying to tell me with this paragraph? You are then going to look through the cards and find the main idea that best matches each text. Place any main idea cards that don't match in the discard pile. So let's look at one. So slides two and three, yeah, two and three are going to be about the same general topic. So look at, let's look at paragraph number one. Rhinoceros skin is really thick and it looks like it would be extra tough and protective. Although it is pretty strong, rhino skin is actually really sensitive to insect bites and to the powerful rays of the sun. This is why rhinos spend so much time rolling around in the mud. When the mud dries on their skin, it creates a layer that helps protect them from bites and sunburns. So I've read my paragraph. I have a general thought about what the author is trying to tell me. Now to figure out which main idea card is which. So I go over to the left. You see where it says a rhinoceros horn is made of protein, not bone. That's one of our choices but I read the paragraph and I don't think that it has to do anything with bones. So I'm gonna put it in the discard pile. Underneath is an orange card that says rhinos don't see very well, but their other senses help make up for it. Well, it's not really about how well they see. So I'm gonna move that one as well. Three of the five species of rhinoceros are in fear of becoming extinct. And it didn't really talk about any of the species are then becoming extinct. So I'm gonna discard that one as well. And you see, as I pull, like they go into the discard pile, they stack underneath each other, leaving the last one. Rhinos have sensitive skin. And then I move it, I'm like, oh, that is my last one. So by process of elimination, and by the fact that the whole paragraph was about rhinoceros' skin, I'm going to take this card, drag it over, to where it says place main idea here and then let go. So there, there's my answer for number one. Now I would move on to paragraph two and then onto the next slide, paragraph three, paragraph four, and then paragraphs five and six are going to be about the same general topic, but it's, spoiler alert, it's not gonna be about rhinoceroses. So slides two and three are gonna be about rhinoceros, about different aspects of their life, different things about them. Slides four and five are going to be about one of the great natural wonders in the United States, the Grand Canyon. All right, so remember you're dragging the main idea to the correct paragraph, the main idea that matches up with what telling what that paragraph is all about. Have a great rest of your day. Good luck, and I look forward to seeing your answers.